To illustrate the use of a stem and leaf plot, I'm going to use these data called pulse rate. Um, and if I look at these data, by the way, they have been sorted from the smallest at 56 down to, where are we, the largest at 88. There's 24 data points. They have been sorted from largest to smallest. And note that these numbers are two-digit numbers. We've got a tens place and we've got a ones place. To illustrate the graph, you don't need to have your data sorted, but I have sorted them here just so that we can see what the plot is actually telling us. Okay, we're going to go to the graph tab, stem and leaf, pick our data. Um, we could specify by variable if we had groups. In this case, we don't. I'm not going to bother trimming outliers. And you can specify an increment. You can specify, say, you want to go by twos, by fives, by tens, by twenties, by hundreds, whatever. You don't have to put anything in here. I'm going to leave it blank and see what the default graph will look like. Click OK, and here's what we have, and this is what is shown in your notes. Now, in this display, first of all, we are told there's 24 data points, and by default, the program is using a leaf unit of 1, so that's in the 1's place. When I look at my display, it appears that Minitab is going by 5's because I have two sixes, two sevens, two eights. So in this row right here, that's going to cover the data that runs from, let's see, 55 to 59. This will be the data from 60 to 64. This will be 65 to 69, 70 to 74, 75 to 79, etc. Okay, now let's have a look at this plot in conjunction with the data that are down here. The only data point I have in the 50 range is this number 56 that's showing right here. So when the tens place is 50, in the ones place is 6. And over here on the left hand side, by the way, Minitab is doing a running count. In this row, there's one data point. Now, the next row contains the data that runs from 60 to 64, and it's telling me that one of my data points is 60, and that I have three data points that are 64. And when I look down here, there's my 60, 64, 64, 64. Now, there are four data points in this row, plus the one that's right here. On the left-hand side, Minitab is doing a cumulative count. So in total, we have accounted for five data points. Now, in the next row, I have four 68s, and these data fall between 65 to 69. And if I look at my spreadsheet down here, yep, one, two, three, four 68s. That's what's showing right here. Okay, so there's four data points here plus the five from the other two rows gives me a running total of nine. In the next row, we have data that run from 70 to 74. And when I look at my spreadsheet, four of the values that fit in that interval are 72. I got 72 four times. That's right here. And um, over here on the left-hand side, I've got the number 4, and it's enclosed in brackets. Now, the 4 tells me, first of all, that there's four data points in this row. And the brackets tell me that the median is going to be located in this row. We're going to talk about, in your notes, you'll find... Um, more discussion on the median, but the median is the data point that falls halfway through your data set after they've been sorted. I'll talk about that again in a second. All right, let's continue to look at our display. We now have uh, the data that run from 75 to 79, and there are four 76s. And then in this row, I've got four 80s and two 84s. And finally, in this row, there's an 88. 
Now let's look at this crazy count that's going on here on the left hand side. So coming down I've got 1 plus the 4 gives me 5 plus the other 4 gives me 9. The count starts again from the bottom of the list. In this row there's 1 plus the 6 data points that are this row gives me a cumulative of 7 and then there's another 4 in here so that 7 plus 4 gives me a total of 11 and I'm back into the row that contains the median. Now in our case the median is located between data point 2. We can find the median either from the top or from the bottom. Now we know the median is between uh, data positions 12 and 13 so if I start from the top I know by the time I get to this 8 I've used up nine data points. So that's going to be data point nine. Here's ten. Oops, there's ten. That two. Come on, come on, come on. That two was ten. The next two is eleven. And then I have these two data points right here, which are in positions twelve and thirteen. To find the median, you'd find the average between 72 and 72, and the answer is going to be 72. Okay, so that's doing it from the top. I could also go from the bottom, so starting right here, there's data point 1. This 4 is data point 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Tells me there's 7 right there. When I get to this 76 right here, I've used up 11. So that means this coming from the bottom, kind of going backwards, that's data point 12 and there's data point 13. My median lies between 72 and 72 so the answer is 72. So either way whether I go from the top or I go from the bottom uh, I can figure out fairly readily what the median is going to be. Now before I close off this video I just wanted to show you um, what happens if we change the increment. By default Minitab had gone by fives but let's just say we want to go by ten so I just type in the number 10 there and now my display changes and instead of having what have I got up here one two three four five six seven bins right now I've only got four bins so each of these rows now runs by 10 so this row will run 50 to 59 60 to 69 70 to 79 etc uh, and so um, stem and leaf operate very much similar to histograms. If you turn them on their side they look like histograms and like a histogram you can control the size of the increment and of course the larger the increment the fewer number of bins you're going to have.